You should use React Query in any React application, no matter how small it is. Let me explain why. So if you're not using React Query, then you're probably doing something like this, right? You're using the traditional use effect, and then you're calling a function to fetch the data, and then manually setting that data in your state. Now this technically works and you will fetch your data, you will show your data in the UI, but this is a horrible practice because there's a lot of bugs here and missing functionality. The first problem is of course, the fact that we have this limit here that we're passing in the dependency array of the use effect, which means that every single time that we change our limit, we're triggering a new fetch request, but we're not canceling the old one, which means that if we have a situation where the first request takes longer than usual and the second one doesn't, we're gonna have a race condition and we're not gonna see the data that we expect. That's a bug. Now you're gonna say that, well, we can fix this by putting an ignore flag here and then only setting the data if ignore is not true. And then on the return function of the use effect, we're setting ignore to true. That would solve the problem, but it doesn't end there because if you're doing data fetching, usually you would want to keep track of the loading state and the error state as well, if something went wrong with the fetch. So, okay, now you create multiple states for this, one for the error, one for the loading. Then you have to go into your function, make sure that you set them correctly before you fetch, then you fetch. And based on the response of the fetch, you have to set the error true and then make sure to not forget to set loading to false and there's a lot that goes into this and then you have a different thing what if you want to fetch a different thing in a different component well now you have to take all of this here and then duplicate it or if you're smart you would come here and you would create this use fetch custom hook that has all of the same logic and takes in the url to fetch as a parameter well good job because at this point you just made a worse version of react query conclusion don't do this. Use React Query. It's battle tested. It has all the features that you want and more. And it doesn't matter the size of your application. Just use React Query.